we have been told that whenever we have to solve a question on trusses you have to pick one method either method of joint or method of section but what if i tell you that there are certain numericals in which you will have to use both the methods together if you want to solve the question in exam time if you pick method of joint or method of section only only one of these the solution will get very long let's have a look at such question where we have to merge where we have to combine both method of joint and method of section in order to get to the solution don't think it's a regular problem trust me that if this problem appears in exam many students are either going to take a lot of time in solving or even there will be some students who will give up on the question under pressure so make sure that you understand the solution till the end so the question says that for the loaded truss shown determine the load in kilonewton in the member dl you can see it is a big truss right alphabet start all the way from a n a b c d e f g h i j k l m n so it's a lot of joints in this truss and interestingly the loaded part is here this is the loaded part right loading is applied here as i have already told you it's very important firstly to locate where is the loading point where at which joint the load is being applied so here we can see at this joint i the load of 8 kN is being applied other than that no where load is being applied and then you have support reactions here right now if you notice you have to find out the load in the member dl where is dl this is d this is l this is the member dl you can see it is quite far from the loading point if you start method of joint you will have to apply method of joint at too many points at too many joints to reach here it will definitely cross 3 minutes not recommended at all to use in the exam in such cases if it was asking you load in hi maybe we could have done it if it was asking the load in maybe gh then also we could have tried it we could have done it but here it is asking you d in dl which is quite far so itna time nahi hai you cannot just keep switching from here to here to here to here so many different four or five points in which you have to apply method of joint to reach here not recommended at all what next method of section my favorite if we try to find it out using method of section let us see let us see what sections what sections can we pick ultimately dl should be in one of the section right so this needs to be cut but how do you cut it if you cut it like this only this part only this part you are taking away there are three unknowns de dl and dc but eventually it's a joint only eventually it's a joint only na if i cut it away and if i show you how is it going to look like this like this and like this three unknown forces you cannot find three unknown forces at a point because you can only apply to equations summation fx is equal to 0 summation fy is equal to 0 moment is equal to 0 is not going to give you anything na if there are three forces f1 f2 f3 obviously the moment of all of them about d will be 0 will it give you either the value of f1 or f2 or f3 no it will not give you that is why whenever we have a joint I I think I have already told about this we have already talked about this we have already solved questions on this that whenever you have been given a joint only only summation fx and summation fy you can apply so number of unknowns should not be more than 2 in that joint here you have three unknowns in this joint so definitely if you choose this as the section here you cannot find out the three unknown forces let us see what other section can we pick now in this one rather than cutting like this if we try to move in the downward direction it will go in the wrong way why because if you cut it down there are already three unknowns now how many sections you are cutting all of them are unknown only na so you have one two and third unknown and after this also you need to go somewhere and exit the truss where would you go if you go here it will add one more unknown if you go here it will add one more unknown and another unknown might get added further and if you from here if you reach here one more unknown will be coming so basically it is not possible to exit the truss 
to take away one section just by three cutting. You cannot do that. If you cut more than three, number of unknowns will be four. You cannot apply the equilibrium equations, right? In section, whatever section you cut other than a joint, there you can apply three equations, summation fx, summation fi and summation of moment, right? If cut that you are making is bringing a section which has more than three unknowns, then you cannot solve that, you know, find out the unknown by that section. So you can clearly see that rather than going here, if you go in the downward direction, already three unknowns you have. And now again, you have to cut away maybe here, maybe here, maybe there. That will just add more unknowns and you cannot go in that direction. So basically, in this direction, you cannot go here, you cannot go nowhere, you can go in this way. So where do you go? If you have to cross DL, in this direction, somewhere you need to go, na? only then you will be able to cut the section. But you are not able to do that at all. So somehow this question, if you try to apply method of section directly, you are not going to get to the answer. So what do we do? Shall we have to start from here and then move by method of joint? Because section we are not able to find. Even in the other direction, in, in any other direction also maybe, you want to go whatever direction you want to go, you will have either more than three unknowns or DL itself will not be there in the section. You need to have DL in the section. Only then you will be able to find it out using method of section. Right? So method of joint, too lengthy. And section we are not able to find. So what should we do? Shall we start investing our crucial three hours of time in the exam in doing the free body analysis and finding out all these unknown forces to reach here or what can we do here there is one important tip one important strategy that you need to learn whenever you are applying method of section it is not necessary that directly you have to jump to the answer yes that's a big advantage of method of section I have already told you that the biggest advantage of method of section that you can directly jump to the specific element to the specific uh, you know uh, member where you have to find out the load you can cut the section suitably but what if you are not able to do that then you have to look at the second best option to cut the second best option to cut as a section what is that observe here if you are able to find out, suppose DE, suppose you are somehow able to find out DE, will you be able to find out DL, yes or no? If I show you the free body diagram of this joint, force 1, force 2, force 3, if you are able to find out force 1, you will be able to find out force 2, how? Summation of forces along x direction is 0, which is the same here as DE, if you are able to find out DE, you will be able to find out DL. And now think, can you cut a section to find out DE? If you are able to find out DE by choosing a section, then next step is just to apply the method of joint at D after method of section. Firstly, apply method of section to find out the force in DE. And once you have found that out, simply analyze the joint D by method of joint analysis and find out DL. Right or not? Let us see if we can do that. This we need to cut. This we need to cut. DE we need to cut. Right? If we cut DE and we want to take out a section, obviously we want to include this 8 kN. Right? Because method of section, it is uh, important that you select the known value in the method of section. Only then you will be able to find out the unknown. Right? If you are cutting a section where all forces are unknown, how will you be able to find out the value of unknowns, right? So here, if we cut DE, we have to ensure that this part, this part definitely comes into the section. So how do we cut it? Maybe like this. If we cut it like this, that entire section is coming. And how many unknowns are there? One, two, and three. Three unknowns are there. DE, EL, and LK. 
it can be solved right summation fx0 summation fy0 and moment about any point will give us the three unknown values we have known load of 8 kN also and applying the method of section here you have to focus on finding out the value of de once you have done that analyze the joint d get to the answer right or not this is a question where choosing any one method will take you a long time to get to the answer the fastest one would be to combine both the methods together firstly method of section then method of joint and this is an important learning from this question so as you can see this is the cut that we have applied this is the cut that we have applied and this is the section right side section that we have taken now we have to apply summation of moments summation of forces along x and along y direction these three equations ideally we should apply but again i will tell you one advantage of method of section that only one equation also can get you your desired force to find out all the unknown forces obviously all three equations we need to apply but what if i don't want fel or fkl right i don't want the values of el or kl forces in el or kl i don't want why i want only the force in de because then i will jump to the point D and find out the L. So is there any way where I can directly find out the force in D E? Yes, that's the beauty of method of section. If you observe the force in E L and the force in K L, both of them are meeting at the point L, right? This force and this force, both the forces. And we can extend them outside the section as well again we have talked about this we have solved questions on this so about point l if i take the moment the moment of force el and kl will become zero and only de's moment will be there other than the known moment of it right so in this case if i apply the moment about l there will be one clockwise moment of 8 kN and other counterclockwise moment of de I can solve it and directly find out the force in DE. Let us look at that quickly. Considering moment equilibrium about point L, which is summation of moment about L is equal to 0, is equal to FDE multiplied by 2. So about this point, counterclockwise moment, FDE multiplied by this distance, which is of 2 meter, is equal to clockwise moment, 8 kN multiplied by 2 plus 2 plus 2, which is 6, correct? This will cancel it, 3 and 24 you will get after multiplying 8 with 3. So FDE is equal to 24 kilonewton. and we have got we have got the force in DE. Once we have done that, once we have found out force in DE, now let's jump to the method of joint. After covering method of section, now let us jump to method of joint. From the geometry angle LD, angle LDE is 45 because it's a square. How? You can see that better in this diagram, right? This is 2, this is 2. So basically this is a square. Means this angle is 45 degrees. That's what we have written here. And in this joint, we need the angle, right? Only then we can take the components. So that angle straight away we can conclude it is 45 because it's a square and it is the diagonal of a square. So this needs to be 45 degree. So this is the free body diagram of joint D. 24 kilonewton we found out and also you can see that the sign here is positive means the direction of DE that we chose was the correct direction tensile load only. So 24 kilonewton is the tensile load along this horizontal direction. This is FDC, this is FDL. We have to find out FDL. So we'll do summation of FX is equal to zero in the horizontal direction, right? Which will give you 24 plus FDL cos 45 is equal to 0 since this its cos component is also going to act in the same direction. So 24 plus FDL cos 45 is equal to 0 as you can see here. 24 plus FDL cos 45 is equal to 0 which means FDL will come out negative because FDL will be minus 24 divided by cos 45 degrees. Cos 45 is 1 by root 2, so it will be minus 24 root 2. So upon solving this, you are going to get, obviously in negative sign, 33.936, approximately 0.936 kilonewton.
as you can see it is coming with a negative sign means the direction of dl that we have chosen which is tensile is opposite if you got positive means the direction you chose is correct since you have got negative means the direction that you chose is exactly opposite of the actual direction so actual direction will be compressive so in the question which has been asked to us the load in member dl is negative compressive and 33.936 Question can ask this to you in the form of NAD question, it can ask you in the form of MCQ question, you need to pick the answer accordingly. As I told you, what learning did you get from the question? That somehow if you are not able to apply method of section directly considering the member where you have to find out the force, think about any adjacent section that you can pick, any adjacent section where Finding any other force will help you to get to the answer. Again, method of section plays an important role. If you will rely on method of joint, such question will take a lot of time to solve. Some of you may think, Sir, we will spend 2-3 minutes, 4 minutes extra on this question. Not a problem. It can work for you if by chance your set is not having lengthy questions maybe. Or even if it is having lengthy question, it's important to have 2-3-4 minutes extra. You can review your attempt maybe you can find out an error you can prevent negative marking you can get four marks extra in those five minutes so every minute matters if you think it does not have any value three four minutes in your regular life it may not be that important two minutes or three minutes but in exam time every minute is super important it can bring your rank up by hundreds maybe thousands that is why always try to optimize that how do I get to the answer not only accurately but also with speed right obviously first focus should be on accuracy then speed but speed is also important when it comes to solving question in the exam so here whenever you are not able to directly jump to the right section choose an adjacent section and see that if I find out the forces in that section can it help me right this question will help you in all those question, difficult questions where none of the methods are working. How to use both the methods together in order to get to the answer, in order to solve the question. I am sure this question has taught you.